Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to find all 22 Korok seeds here in the West Nakluta region in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Our first seed in this region is going to be found just west of Kakariko Village by the main path. When you get over here, you guys are going to find this fancy little archway with a dandelion on the top. Go ahead and shoot that dandelion with an arrow and wait for it to float down. And if you can grab it before it touches the ground, the croc will appear and you'll get seed number one. Number two is going to be around the same area. You just want to head a little bit further west up the path by the Sahazra slope. You'll see on the map there's a tree in this little area. All you need to do is climb to the top of this tree and you're going to find a little rock. Once you pick that rock up, the croc will appear and you'll get seed number two. Number three is gonna be found just northwest of the Sahazra Slope on this mountaintop here on your map. Once you make it to the peak, you'll find a yellow flower. Go ahead and walk over that thing, and if you turn around, you're just gonna follow this yellow flower down to this platform below us. You'll see another one right here on the corner. Another one spawns right here in front of you, and then if you climb to the top of the rock, your final flower will appear. The Korok will pop up and you'll get seed number three. Number four is going to be found just south of Kakariko Village down by Lake Sila. And right here in the middle of the lake, we're going to have a rock that has a flower on it. You run over that flower and turn around. And on this giant triangular rock, we're just going to follow the flowers all the way up to the top. So our next one's going to be behind this tree down by the water. So if you work your way around the tree, you'll see it down here by the bottom. The next one's going to be in the opening a little bit further up. So we can grab this one. And then we only have one flower remaining, which is going to be at the very top in the back corner. So we can go up here and grab this thing. The Korok will appear and you'll get seed number four. Number five is going to be on the northwestern side of Lake Sila. If you work your way up the cliff right here around this location, when you get up here, you can look over the ledge and see a little spot where we can land. If you jump down here, all you got to do is pick up the little rock. The Korok will appear and you'll get seed number five. For number six, you want to head over to Mabel Ridge, which is just west of Lake Sela. You can see on the map here, we have a pretty giant tree that's by itself. Right here in the side of the tree is a hole with an acorn. Hit that acorn with an arrow and you'll get seed number six. Number seven is going to be found on the northwestern side of Dueling Peaks. You'll see that we have a little cluster of trees on the side of the mountain here. If you run up to this small tree on the ledge, you'll see a balloon hiding in the leaves. Go ahead and hit that balloon and you'll get seed number seven. Number eight is going to be found on the northern side of the Dueling Peaks. Down at the bottom of the mountain, you'll see another little cluster of trees here. When you make it to the trees, you'll see a rock with a dandelion on the top. Go ahead and shoot that dandelion and just go stand next to the rock and catch it before it touches the ground. And you'll get seed number eight. Number nine is also going to be found on the northern side of Dueling Peaks. This one will be up on the top of the mountain. You'll see we have two trees on your map. If you come up to these two trees on the right, you'll find a pinwheel. Go ahead and walk up to that and three balloons are going to spawn in the tree that's next to you. Two of which will be rotating around the tree here. And the third one's just going to be hiding up at the top. Hit all three, the croc will appear and you'll get seed number nine. Number 10 is on the northern side of Dueling Peaks as well. This one is on the actual peak. You want to go all the way up to the top here and you'll find another pinwheel sitting on the rock that'll spawn three balloons. Now they'll most likely disappear because you won't hit them all in time, but they're just going to spawn a little bit higher. Hit all three and you'll get seed number 10. Number 11 is going to be found pretty much in the same spot as number 10. You just want to jump down to this little ledge below the peak and you'll find a puzzle with a piece that looks like the letter T. Now I initially picked this thing up and try to just stick it in here like this. What you wanna do is turn this thing around completely. So we'll just flip it backwards, We'll be able to stick it in now. It'll fit right in the middle here. And once it's in, you'll get C number 11. 12 and 13 are gonna be found together in the middle of Dueling Peaks down by the river. You'll see our location here on the screen. And once you get down here, you just want to speak with our little Korok buddy who needs help getting on the other side of the river. Now, it's not worth making a vehicle for this one. You just want to pick him up and extend him as far out as you can and walk into the water. And then you can just swim your way across, turn around, pick him back up and drop him off at the campsite. And you'll be able to get your next two seeds. Number 14 is going to be on the southern side of the Dueling Peaks. And this is actually going to be on the cliff side. So you're going to want to jump down over the ledge from the top. You'll see two boulders and a cork on the back corner. Go ahead and attach one of the boulders to the cork and then you can drop it off the ledge and pull the other side up, revealing the Korok and giving you seed number 14. Number 15 is also on the southern side of Dueling Peaks and this one's on the actual peak itself at the top of the mountain. When you're up here, there's two statues and a wooden platform. Walk over the wooden platform and all you need to do is land on the target without touching the ground. 
And once you do, you'll get seed number 15. Number 16 is going to be found just south of the Dueling Peaks. You'll see on your map here, there's a pretty big cluster of trees. And if you start from the northern side, you want to go to the fat tree that's in the back right. There'll be arrows pointing at this tree regardless if you get stuck. But all you need to do is climb to the top. The little leaves will spawn, interact with them, and you'll get seed number 16. Number 17 and 18 are going to be found together over by the Poplar Foothills. You can see our exact location here on the screen. But you're going to find our little Korok buddy hanging out up on the rocks. And we need to take him all the way over here to these mountains. Pretty good distance. So you're going to need an airplane for this one. It's definitely worth it. You can go on foot. It's just going to take you a really long time. So I've already made myself an airplane here. So we'll just attach him to it. Use recall so we can get up in the sky. And we're going to fly across. So it's kind of hard to see it at first, but as you fly over here toward the mountains, you'll start to see the smoke at the top. And you can just fly up here and drop them off. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, I cut the airplane short and fell. Uh, so I had to pick him up and carry him up there. But as you can see, it's really not too difficult. You're not going to encounter any enemies. You can do this on foot if you like. Uh, it'll just take you a really long time. But once you get him up here, you'll be able to get your next two seeds. Number 19 is also found in the Poplar Foothills. You can see the location here once again. And once you make it up here, you'll find a giant hole in the ground that's got a boulder in it. If you pick up that boulder, right over here behind these rocks is going to be your wooden stand. You can just lift this thing up and drop this into the wooden stand. And once it's there, your little Korok buddy will appear and you'll get seed number 19. Number 20 can be found down in the Kile Plain. You guys can see our location. We've got a bunch of trees here. And this location is actually a little tunnel that goes under the rocks. If you go down into that tunnel, around the middle is going to be a wooden uh, stump on the ceiling. All you need to do is ascend through that piece of wood. And when you get to the top of the mountain, a Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 20. Number 21 is going to be found just east of the Kile Plain, up on top of the mountainside here. When you make it up here, what you want to do is jump over the side and pull your chute, and you'll see on all these little cliffs below you are going to be small rocks. Now on the right side, if you're facing the mountain, you're going to see all these rocks are on the right side except for one. One is on the left. You want to land on that little cliff where that rock is, and you want to move it from the left side to the right side. So we'll go ahead and use Ultra Hand. We'll pick it up. And we're just going to move this right around the corner here to the other side, and once you move it, It'll do the little poof, the Korok will appear, and you'll get seed number 21. Our 22nd and final seed here in West Nakluda is going to be just west of Mount Floria. You'll see on your map there's just one little tree by itself over here, and all you need to do is climb to the top of this tree and interact with the little leaves that are up there, and you'll get seed number 22. But this is how to find all 22 Korok seeds here in West Nakluda. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.